lunch tastes so good. All right. Welcome back, everyone. We have two lives. And we're taking on Click Clock Wood. So as you can already tell, you're in for something unique. If you've never played Banjo-Kazooie or know nothing about the game, this will definitely be new. So it's a world with four worlds. <clears throat> so it's the same place over the course of an entire year, four seasons. So we start with spring, then we go to summer, and fall, and then winter. And different things we do in different parts of the game will determine some other things, too. I'm pretty sure I don't need them, but we'll still get them. All right. And so the Jinjos, the music notes, everything that's normally in the game is spread across the entirety of this. So we will have to collect them in parts. Get that one out of the way. First one, for the, every time you come in this world, always has the full cinematic. Which is whatever, but... We're just gonna barrel through it. And uh, only during one season are you able to get the uh, transformation, but you can use it in all of them. You just, you know, you take it out of this one world and head into the hub area. Uh, there, we want that one. Ooh, excuse me. I legitimately, like, just ate lunch while we're playing. So... Yeah, I don't think I fit through there. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I'm pretty sure I have to be uh, Mumbo's smaller transformation to get in there. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, this is Click Clockwood. The music's really freaking catchy. So if you find yourself like humming this later, I don't blame you. Do 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 do. My name's Andy Bernard. Yeah, that was my bad attempt at an office joke. Hope you don't mind. Oh boy. I hate this platform. In the spring, it's not built. Every other season, it's there. So, alright, let's see. There's the summer. Haha. -ha. So we've already opened summer, which is good. So we're gonna go through here. We're gonna visit my friend. What's his name? Uh. Nabnut. Man. I'll just need a few more. Uh, during the winter, you can break into his house. And when you break in, uh, there's actually... Oh, what is there? It's the uh, Stop and Swap special egg. Is there in winter. And sitting on his table. Clearly, he didn't just gather nuts. He gathered an um, egg. A weird egg. Alright. Oh, yeah. We need to do this here. So that we can... Wow, apparently I can't jump. Banjo ain't got no ups. Eerie. Irie? Oh, okay. I thought he gave us a mission to do at this point. He does not. That's fine. <laughs> so... Because this is the same world, there are there are only certain seasonal things, like uh, clearly the Jinjo and everything. Um, 
But some of these things you can do at any season. And it just changes a couple tiny things. So first, I'm grabbing that. Because I can. Ha ha! We got one. And it only took us five minutes to get the, our first jiggy of this level. But, at the same time, this level is significantly easier. Look at that. We even got two extra lives. We're making up for the ones we lost earlier. I'm trying to plan this. Yeah, we don't want to just fall. That is a kill fall. So we want to make sure, you know, we're careful about the platform falls. Alright. Here's a perfect place we can just kind of fall. Because look at that. Only one. Alright. Nope. There is a way to do it, to cheat the game, and to let you do that really f high fall, and let you actually crash into it and break that boulder, and just skip a whole section. I did not. I didn't do it right. Which is okay. Okay, got that one. Look at that. We got this. Summer rains, you can never predict them. That's what I couldn't remember how to do. There we go. I remembered that in one of the seasons I had to do something with the hole. Uh, last time I played this, I this is the one jiggy I sat here trying to figure out how to do. And I couldn't figure it out. Now I did. I finally remembered it. That's how it works. You remember the most random things. Alright. Nope. That ain't worth it. <laughs> I just look at it. That ain't worth it. Well, that was... Just unfortunate. Do -do -do -do. Oh, excuse me. My son, my sandwich for lunch. Well, he's messing with my stomach. We're good though. I mean, we can definitely. Let's see what if Mumbo does the transformation in this season. Or is it another season that he does it? If it's this season, we'll leave him alone. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just... freaking eggs. Alright. So yeah, we're not gonna... jump and do... We won't do Mumbo's transformation yet. We'll come back to spring when we're all done. Do it like we've done every other thing. Get what we can without the transformation. Finish the transformation in the world at the same time. We'll do that. All right. So for the most part, we've mostly finished spring. So now we need to move on to summer. Which is where we're going to be able to get Naughty the Beaver. That was the character I was trying to think of the name of earlier. Uh, we'll be able to open the beaver's home. Summer, it's too hot for Mumbo to do his transformation. So spring is the only time. And now he needs five caterpillars we need to find across the world. And if you notice, those things are way bigger than they were before. All right, let's see. And we have red feathers this season. 
Yeah, if you notice, all the things kind of change each season. We actually don't need any of those, which is hilarious. Even though I know we don't need anything from him, I just don't remember what is in his place. I think it might be another caterpillar, which we need several of those. Like, you can't find enough during each of the seasons. And if you notice, yeah, his all of his fire is out. I was like, come on. Wow. Okay. A mumbo token. We need 25. And we have 40. I think we have a little too many. Not that it's a bad thing, but... Pretty sure we have more than we'll ever need. Oh, come on. That was just unfair. Alrighty, let's see. Yep. We just... We're doing great on this. This is working out. Ooh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> he remembers. Thank you, Gobi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, Gobi, but it's necessary to this game. Do I feel a little bad? Only a little. There we go, and we got Fallen Luck, too. Look at that. Like, conceptually, this level is awesome. Uh, for anyone that's interested or has played uh, Banjo... Or Banjo. Donkey Kong 64. Very much like that game. Um, this is kind of connected. They were both made around the same time uh, with similar design. Like, it was supposed to be... What you see in Fungi Forest was an early Banjo-Kazooie level that was supposed to be made, but got modified, and we got Click Clock Wood. So, not only was it seasons, but there was supposed to be a time factor, which is why you see that in uh, Donkey Kong 64. You see the time changes. So as you play through the level, you time flows, so it'll be day and night. So, yeah, a little kind of cool fact for you that connects the two games, as if we needed more connections between the two, but, um, I'm pretty sure there's something over here for us if we do it this way. If not, I mean, oh well, I just platformed for nothing. Oh, look, there is a jiggy. We got one! I'll say it's only our second one. Wow, uh, this has gone a, not quite as planned, but it's actually this is very smooth, and I'm not stressed doing this one either. Like this is just I don't mind this at all. Yeah, that didn't pl work as planned at all. I intended fully to not fall down all the way. But apparently, I was falling. Uh -huh. So let's see what we get when we go back up for the second time. That's right, there's stuff over here this time. That's definitely enough for Eerie. Or 
Iri, or however you pronounce his name. The Mighty Eagle. Not very mighty, but I love him. He's my son. My adopted son. Oh boy. I thought the ginger was supposed to be here. Maybe that's in the second game. Yep. Go for it. The Zubaz. Yep. This is how you cheese this challenge. Which is why I said, you know, get the upgrade. It only takes four feathers, but... <laughs> that... <laughs> I forgot how easy that was when you actually used the, uh... The Wonder Wing. <laughs> My intention was to actually, you know, make a challenge of it, but no. I just kind of showed you guys a trick and ended up being 100 times easier than it should have been. Okay. So now we're back at the house where I fell last time. I'm sure... There's something in here. Ah! Oh, it's an extra life. We're good. We don't need it. At this point, we don't need the extra life. Where we're going, we don't need extra lives. Oh, that's right. We actually have to tell and trot around this area. There, I almost fell. I could tell myself that I was going to fall. Yep. I know, touch your honey, we'll sting ya. I gotcha. Is he still eating? Yeah. He, he's eating too much. Oh, I forgot they added that challenge to this. Yeah, that's the one that's the hard one. Really? There we go. My gosh. This is so tedious. Why couldn't they just let me do it in a lump sum? Oh, that was so annoying. We had to sit through that whole thing. Alright. He's tired. He can go to sleep. Uh, fall will be next. I don't think there's anything up here that I need. That's how you gracefully descend this place. All right. I believe we're done in summer because the thing at the very top doesn't change by the season. So now it's time to go to fall. Oh, and we got the dragonflies back. The bubblegum swamp. Did not like that. No shit, Eerie. Luckily, we already had three. So we only need to collect seven this time. This is one of my... My favorite seasons are winter and fall. Because there's these extra platforms all over the world. That make it a whole lot easier to play this level. What do you mean? Eh. He's, cl if I remember right, 
Mumbo is sweeping his floor of leaves. He's unable to perform magic today, is how he puts it. Ha, ah, that's right. I got you. Sorry. Sorry for people listening on the headphones. Um, yeah, buddy. Kill that one. See, look at this. This level moves smoothly. I haven't died. We haven't lost any major health. It's just been, you know, a little casual. There's the second Jinjo. Second Jinjo. Oh, Gobi. I'm sorry. That's the last of your water. He shouldn't be running away now. If I remember right. Yep. Is it to the lava world. So if you have no idea what the lava world is, you're in for a surprise. It's not in this game. <laughs> in the sequel, Banjo-Tooie, there is a lava world. And it's done as a direct reference to Gobi's uh, claiming that that's where he's going. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to get up there. I simply don't remember. I guess we'll figure it out, right? I think it's funny because clearly we don't need every note because I already have enough to go to the final world. And by final world, I mean the final boss. Like, I have, we have enough stuff to go take on the final boss. We don't need to do anything else. But I want to show you guys, you know, everything that's in this game. So it means doing this all the way. Except for uh, that last world that we played. Rusty Bucket Bay. I keep forgetting it. That's the one that we're just going to keep saying. The last world. I hated that so much. Um, so yeah, you gotta wait until f uh, fall after you do that to open up Naughty's uh, dam. Look at that. He's been waiting months to give us that. I appreciate it. He was a nice guy. He was in trouble. We helped him. He gave us a jigsaw piece in return. That's a nice guy. Alright. Now we gotta start scaling the tree again in fall. Now that we've finished everything on this on this level. Except for obviously getting these last music notes. But the worms and everything are up at the top. So we'll just make our way up that way. Alright. Yeah, we need to avoid that. We need to get onto that flower. Yep, and that's just how this works. There we go. There's that. I thought the ginger was in here on one of the seasons. I could be totally wrong. And I probably am. Oh, God. Look at that. We did it. Okay, maybe we didn't do everything on this level. <laughs> um, and by level, I meant the uh, ground level and all that. This is not too bad. See, this is like a nice little relaxer. I definitely think that they planned it that way. Like, 
here, do this really ridiculously challenging level, and then, you know what, for all your hard work, here's a level of just pure fun. It's easy, not a lot going on. By this point, if you've done 100% for most of the game, you have enough to just bypass everything and beat the game. But if you want a nice relaxing fan call, here's a level that puts together everything you've learned without challenging you, really. So look at this, look at that. Like, we made this so smooth and easy. Well, I was wrong. I thought something was up there. But I'm definitely wrong. Ha! We did get a jiggy. I thought there was something in this house eventually. Look at that. Alright. Now, because of awkward camera angles... And those dragonflies. We're going to take this a little slowly. Yep. Nabnuts needs six acorns. And now we have to grab him acorns. So we're grabbing worms for ear, or caterpillars for eerie. And now we're grabbing acorns for Nabnut. Okay. Really? Really? That's how this works. Oh, sometimes I get frustrated. Even on this level. But look at that. We got this. We got it. Alright, let's see. That, why? Why did you need to... Oh my god. I don't like that at all. Why? I don't even think it's above the proper place. It was. Just barely. God, I hate this world so much. Yep. That's grand total of four. I'm pretty sure there's one in here. In a place that he can't reach. Because he's incompetent. Oh, look at that. And a caterpillar for us, too. No. Come on. Stupid platforming. Yep. There's that one. Dummy nab nuts. Why? Why make it on every one of them now? Why be that cruel? Why? Because they can. All right, winter's open. We're gonna feed Erie his last meal, hopefully. And I don't mean that in like the bad way. I mean it as we don't need any more to feed him. Where's that last freaking acorn? I'm not excited about that acorn. Really? Come on. There we go. All right. Gotta sit through this for all of them. <laughs> really, they could have just done a lump sum. That's one thing they did better in the second game than this game. One last one. There we go. Alright, here you go to sleep. Take your nap. Take your nap till winter. When we see you once more. Yeah. He's right. He will be the big bird next time we see him. Oh, I bet we have to platform up here to get the last acorn. I can almost bet money on that one. Which then means we're going to have to come back down. Wow. For some reason, this seemed bigger than normal. Ooh, 
Hmm. Where is that last nut? We need that last nut for me to complete nap nuts thing. Hmm. Hmm. Nap nuts. Which one are you missing? What are we missing? Not there. Let's see. No. I wouldn't think. Yeah, I'm not able to get there yet. Where is his missing acorn? Hmm. Mumbo token. Nothing there. Huh. Oh, very strange. It's like we're missing something. Nope, not in there. Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll take that. Ah. This one might be a wash, too. We'll come back. We'll figure it out. Let's go finish up the actual world and do winter. That way you can come back and figure it out. All I know is I've so far now done more episodes than I intended for this game. Oh, I forgot about the one thing I don't like about this one. Welcome back, an old friend. I can hear him already. Yep, he's back. I hate it so much. Of course he's right there. Wow. baby. I hate the snow, men. This is really annoying. They should all die. I hate the snow, men. Yeah, Mumbo's on vacation. I know. You hairy fool. Oh, we forgot to check him in fall. That's that's where a Jinjo is. It's about right, though, that I would forget that. Alright. Let's take out some snowmen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, really? Let me slide all the way back down. I'm taking the bastards down. They annoy me just enough. But I don't want to deal with them. Ha ha ha. Hope you enjoyed it. That was bad. 
Yep. I got these. I got this guy. That's where the stop and swap egg would be. His door's locked. I need to kill this guy. Maybe not yet. Man, so much. Look at that. Eerie can fly now. Because he's a big grown up eagle. Yeah, that's disgusting. He just pooped it out. Because he even came with the noise. That was gross. Alright. So it looks like one of the few things we're missing is Nabnut's uh, special. We're missing his last acorn. Oh god, I hate ice worlds. Everything slides, which makes it ten times harder to do everything. Yep, see, nothing changes. Perfect. Um, I know a good majority of the things left are tiny little things here and there that, you know, you do. Ooh, baby. This is precise, because everything slides. I felt that so hard in my own bones. I was like, oh! And that's the last of Grunty Little Slayer jiggies. <sighs> yep, and here we go.
I'm going to kill that snowman if it's the last thing I do. Really? That was terrible. I missed him and then proceeded to have to fall the entire length of the tree. Well, half of the length of the tree. I feel like there's one last thing up here that I had to get. I don't remember it now. Oh. Well, I'm so very glad that they forced me to do this. Oh, the hell with it. Alright. Oh. That was also a Mumbo token. I forgot about that. Alright. Alright, guys. This is... We're nice and relaxed. Um... We have some stuff left to do, but, you know, it's not a big deal. We'll finish it next time. All right. Uh, thanks for just kind of sticking around. I know this was a lot more relaxed and laid back. Uh, so, yeah, next time we'll do something else. All right.